Well, welcome everybody, it's me, GSD. And I'm back again with some more RPG indie quality. Kinda like earlier, but, you know, we're bringing it back to Shadows of Adam. They just released the DLC not too long ago, I think just a week ago or so? They've been working on this, they've been working on adding some new things to the game. Uh, there is a New Game Plus mode, but it's a little different than New Game Plus as you would expect it. So, New Game Plus in the past was, you start a new game, but you got all your stuff from the last playthrough you did. So you're super strong, game's pretty easy, breeze through. This one is more like, you get all your stuff, but the difficulty scales. So, now everything's a little harder to account for the overpoweredness of the gear and spells you have. And I guess that's because they also increased the level cap to 50. I never hit the level cap. I think I was 30 something when I, I finished the game. But apparently there's a new spell or new unique spell per character at level 50. I don't know if we'll hit it, but we'll see what we can do. I don't know if I'm gonna go through everything in this because I would like everybody to try this out for their, yourselves. If you had bought the game before, you'd probably like this. They added a new crafting system called Artifact Crafting. So we could essentially, I what I think this is, is take a relic that say had uh, boosted AP or spell power with another one and just have ridiculous amounts of power. It's things like that. Or if you want to go the defensive route, you could just put all the resistances on one relic and then you're good to go. You're immune to everything. Maybe. I don't know. There's also black market where you can buy new items. There's a new dungeon with new treasure, puzzles and difficulty, new bosses, new achievements. And there's an arena. So it sounds like a pretty hefty DLC. I am gonna try and get through some of it. And we'll see how we go. I'm hoping that I can just start from any save. Obviously I don't, well, I don't think I can start in the Wraith Abyss because there is no way to get back, right? So let's go to the overworld save. Feels good to be back in the world of Adam. All right. So, let me see something. How do I get back onto the ship? I forget. No, no, not dead, not dead. No, not dead, not dead. How do I get in there? Ah, there we go. Hey, guys. See, good to see you again. Great shards of blood. Do you see all the booty below? Captain. You gotta remember that little rum little hoss. Oh, uh, you're saying the same stuff? I kind of remember that. You? Stay up here forever, I really could. And then I remember y'all. Exact stuff. What did you have that I could use? None of this, right? Oh, wait. That's pretty good. Uh. <laughs> and then you? Just a bunch of stuff that I don't need. I'm gonna save my gold. I don't think I have that much. Well, I got a lot, but. I want to save it for, like, the black market and whatnot. So let's go. Let's get a, a move on. Let's do it. So, first things first, I gotta head back to the original town. The original city, right? I think this is it. Right here? Or should I go to Adam? Uh, let me take a, look, a quick look at Adam real quick and see if anybody's like, Hey, this is the new shit going on right now. Hey. Okay, I didn't do a thorough check, but I don't think there's anything there. I'm more interested in the, the new meat! So there was the Adderfact Guild, which I thought was a backer-only thing, but I guess it was a DLC thing, and it should be right here. Yep, new shit! That guy wasn't there before. What are you doing here? Let me through! Sorry, Errol. Your father's orders. What? Is he trying to teach me a lesson? Is that it? It's motivation. Motivation? To do your job. Are you all crazy? I need help! I can't do this on my own! Find it, Errol. Don't come back until you do. Fools. Sheesh. I need a drink. You mind? Sorry. Jeez. Well, 
I guess I can't. Oh, what's this? Artificer's lore. Light BWK. Ryu 64. What is this? Okay. You. Can you see him talking? You, let me pass. Please. Unless you have a member's card, you're not getting in. Maybe that bum would have one. Maybe that bum would have one? He's probably drowning sores at the tavern. Well then, let's go on and do this. So there's a new story. New elements. Where's the tavern? I can't remember where anything is in this game. Uh, no. Yes. Got drinks on there. There he be. It's you. You make one mistake. One mistake! And what happens? Everybody turns on you. Treats you like you're nothing. My own family. Well, you know what? Uh, no? I'm the great-grandson of one of the founders of the guild. That's what. So I know things nobody else knows. Like, what? Like, those artifacts you got. They're magic. I kinda figured that. Well, did you know that you can only equip one at a time? Yeah, we noticed. But did you realize that it's because artifacts don't play nice with one another? What do you mean? Artifacts interact with your body's spirit force. They transform the energy of your soul. When you try to equip a second artifact, it interferes with the energy transformations of the first artifact, rendering both useless. Not to mention the nausea. I'll let you in on a secret. The guild is actually a secret society dedicated to the recovery and restoration of rare artifacts. It was founded by three Laden mages who assimilated into Tradoran society after the Wraith War. One of them was my great-grandfather. You must have really screwed up to get thrown out. Well, I was charged with guarding a rare reliquary, the Hand of Storms. It was one of four Grand Reliquaries that the Grand Mages of Laud created. It and its brethren can bind any three artifacts, combining their abilities. And you lost it? It was stolen! By who? One of the artifact hunters. I don't know who yet, but when I find out, I'll... Hell! And you lost it? It was stolen! It's useless. I'm not a warrior. What does my father expect me to do? It's too bad. Wish we could help. Wait a minute. That's it. I'll send you into the guild to get the Knight's Mane, one of the other Grand Reliquaries. Its power can match the Hand of Storms. But we aren't members. No problem. You can use my members card. The bouncer should let you right in. Once I find out who stole the Hand of Storms, you can track them down and use the power of the Knight's Mane to get it back. How about it? You got it, buddy! Excellent! Your first order of business is to find the Knight's Mane Rattle Carry. I hid it in the library a long time ago at the end of a secret passage. How do we find the passage? Check along the walls. I forget exactly where it was. Now, here's the member's card. Go find the Knight's Mane. Got that member card! Hell yeah! Alright. We'll go to head back. Wait, do you say anything else? There's a Knight's Mane again. I hid it in the library. It's a secret passage. Okay. Uh, let's head over there. Right quick. Alright, buddy. Wait, 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 wait. You know what we gotta do. Say that. No! Forget how to do all this stuff. Save not on that one, because that's my good save. We'll save on the new new down slot four. Yeah. Good. Alright. Buddy, I got the card. Members card? Alright, you're good to go. Thanks, bruh. I got a new achievement. Oh, who's you? Artificer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't be cavorting in through the front door all the time. Why not? This isn't your typical drinking hole. 
If Malville and his cohorts knew that we get what we get up to, they'd throw us in the dungeon. Okay, what are we supposed to do then? So our founders were retired Lawton mages, right? They knew they weren't exactly going to be leading citizens of society. That's why they created a system of teleports. Magical beams of light that zip zap you right into the guild's secret teleporter room. During the war, they used them to come and go without alerting any guards. Sounds handy. Where can we find these teleporters? You look like you spent a lot of time in ancient towers and caves. And... So surely you've met Save. <gasps> save! I remember Save! Of course, a true blessing to any adventurer. Right. And you can double those blessings because now, when you encounter Save, they'll give you the option to teleport to the guild. Furthermore, innkeepers can also send you back to the guild. Really? Innkeepers? That's strangely convenient. Convenient, yes. Strange, no. You see, our connections at the guild run deeper than the Wraith World Abyss. Impressive. Last thing. Very important. If you do have to enter from the front entrance, we'll have to close off the teleporter in the guild, just to be safe. Guards are watching this spot all the time. Imagine what they'd think if they saw everybody enter, but nobody leave. Okay, got it. For the sake of the guild, I sure hope so. Well, I guess I can't go through the front door now, can I? But I want to check the book he works out. He's telling me not to go through the front door, and I'm, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want to do. Got nothing to sell to you, bud. Fuck you, dog! Okay! Let me see yourself to the downstairs area, that's where the good stuff is. Okay, let me see if I can just use a teleporter then, instead. I don't want to fuck this up for them. Where's the innkeeper? Hey bud, the password is... Chocolate chip. Thank you. Oh! Hell yeah, there we go. What? No! 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 Chocolate chip. Thank you. I made it! Hey, buddy. If you're looking to hunt down artifacts, the library upstairs may hold clu some clues. Hey, you? Bartender, what if the London Empire had put all their magic into making beer instead of war? Heaven on Earth, that's what! Jakesy? 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 Jakesy was glad to see his girlfriend go. Jakesy doesn't need that ungrateful nag. Jakesy is just fine without her. Jakesy doesn't spend his nights crying alone on his cobblestone floor, desperately wishing he could hold her in his arms again. <laughs> no! Jakesy's full up on girlfriends. It's table for one in Jakesy's world. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you? Artificer, go right up these stairs to enter the library. Many of Lod's greatest lores are written in the books. Perhaps they can help you find lost treasures. Sorry. No one can go, come or go. The royals have a stakeout going on up on top. I'm creating a magical sleep suit. But until it's done, you'll have to use a boring old bed. Ah. Look at all these places. What is in here? This is, okay, it's just an inn. I don't want to sleep yet. Check the barrels. Check everything. Magical sleep suite. This is a ball and ass suite. It's got a sink and everything. Why would I need a sink and not a toilet? Bouncer. Artificer. Boxes. Do you see boxes? You dead? Straight down the stairs, you'll enter the battle arena. The door above will take you to the market. There are rare items only to be found there. Some people think a world with no magic would be better, but I just can't understand that view. It's the arena. I can't. Oh, I can! What's down here? This is the arena? This is the arena. And this is the black market? This is the black market. Hey, guys! Good to see you all. Let me check that tool out. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. I don't know what that is, and I don't know what there's a sword on there. 
Hey, welcome! Luke's lockets. Wow, these are some ball in it. Look how expensive this stuff is. Good thing I didn't spend all the money. That's a lot of money. Okay. We'll come back to you in a second. What does everybody else have? Welcome! Uh, just regular stuff. Okay. You. Welcome! Uh, pressed the wrong thing. Welcome. Uh, spinach Mega Elix. It's a little too rich for my blood. Hmm. But that's a good party one. I don't have any of those. I got some ether. And then you. Uh, the stones. Oh, so no weapons. Okay. Okay. Let's continue on with this. I'm liking this so far. The lore is pretty good. And what's up here? Forge. I guess this is. Ooh, I see shiny. I don't have the required item to use this. Welcome to the forge. In order to unlock the power of a grand reliquary, you need three special items: a grand reliquary, an essence, and the sword of spears. Thankfully, the guild already has the Sword of Spears, and it's in this very room. And as it so happens, I have an Essence. It is useless to me, though. Why don't you take it? Essence re received. Thank you. Let me take a look at that. Essence. Where's guy? I don't see Essence in here. Uh, I don't see Essences. Oh, there it is. An item used in crafting. Okay. This forges. Mr. Hello. Rudo. I've recently returned from the wind tower, and whoever was there cleaned the place out. They missed this essence, though. Unfortunately, I'll never have a reliquary to put this to use. So how about you take it? Got that another essence. All right. Two essences. This is pretty dang good. How do we get other essences later on? And we'll probably find that out. And up here! Big book. Wraith Charm. When the words of the Doomsayer came to pass, what must his betrayer have thought? Gregon! Gregon! What was the price to break the pact? How did your soul become so dark? The king gave Gregon a charm shaped like a skull the day after the Doomsayer's death. Gragon carried it always, clutching and tugging it from his neck to gaze at it. Did he see his master's face in this design? Or maybe poor Deimos, from whom he took so much? What he thought, we will never know. For just east of the wind tower, his ship was sunk. Oh, maybe that's one of the bosses. East of the wind tower, okay. The rise and fall of the Latin Empire. Quicksilver. How is it that Dredora did not fall on the first day, the first month, the first year? Yes, Dredora had tall walls. Yes, Dredora had thick armor and sharp weapons. But Dredora's ultimate strength was simply distance. Over distance, the power drawn from the Wraith Crystal waned. And so Dredora, a thousand miles away from Lod, from the seat of the Wraith Crystal, was strong because Lod's mages were weak, their power diminished by distance. So there sat Dredora, immune, a riddle to be solved. And some said Dredora cannot be taken with spells, it must be conquered with sword and shield. Let us build artifacts to empower us to this end. And so Quicksilver was created. However, it was never... It was never to be due to Lod's second great discovery, that vast quantities of magic power could be channeled over long distances through a network of shards. Who knows where Quicksilver lays now, perhaps an abyss. An abyss. An abyss? East? So there's East? An abyss? Lady? Artifacts were created by the Latin Empire, that means most are over a hundred years old. More library? You just hiding in the stacks? I study King Semyon, the demigod of the slimes. Legend says the god king only appears when a mighty foe presents themselves. Impressive, he might be the one to bring King Semyon out of the shadows. Where do I find King Simeon? How do I find King Simeon? All these booky works. Talisman. When the last... 
When at last Elias stood alone, the pact finally broke by ice and never ever night. She was brought before the king. It was the talisman he sought. That rare artifact crafted with love and hope by Elias' own hand. Love and hope that now lay shattered. It's strength you seek, said Elia to the king. And that desire is one I understand, if only I could bestow such power. There were now tears in her eyes, and her voice, once so strong and resolute, wavered. So take the talisman and place it with all your treasures, but it will never fulfill you, nor change your soul. Your weakness will remain as it remains with all men. Idioms of Laud To visit the skeleton city, to die and be buried in a graveyard. Hmm. Hey! Oh, uh, this is where I'm gonna get that? Wait, 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 let me read the book. Wraith Shield. Julius told Alia she must destroy it, for in this artifact he saw the end of the world. She saw the same, but also salvation for Deimos. For him, she would risk the world and everything in it. She gave the shield to Gragon to deliver along with a message, but neither would ever reach Deimos. It was Gragon who would take the shield up. Gragon who would protect its secret. Gragon the fearless. Oh! Who could have known the truth? Give me that! Damn right, I got Main of Magic, a DLC achievement. Uh, let me take a look at that. Is that actual gear? Mm, yes, it is. Damn. It's not bad. I don't know, I can merge three artifacts into one. Tony attack. Ah. Oh. Is it only for me to use, or like for Kellen, or can anybody use it? Anybody can use it. Okay. Mm. Yeah, everybody can use that. Okay, that's good to know. Maybe I should explore a little more. No. And no. All right. All right. We didn't read these things though. Wait, what? Success and failures. Guide to restoration. Mind over magic. How to fool yourself and others into believing you have magic powers. Ten secrets to master. Put that back! What? Magic love? <laughs> Wraith band. Demos was a lowly loden mage, but not a lowly man. During the great... During the great crossing, he was enlisted as a digger and the dirt beneath his nails made them black as the eagle's talons. He was a broken man, broken by the dark stone of the Evernight. Broken by the death of Julius, the man Laud called Doomsayer, who foresaw so much of what was to come. Broken by betrayal, broken by words left unheard and unsaid. All he had was the band, and it was this gift that sustained him in hope till at last he saw the light. And there, in despair or solidarity, Deimos and his treasure, but not his heart, joined the citizens of the Skeleton City. Skeleton City might be a new thing. In a graveyard. A graveyard, huh? Fire badge. Yulis the Doomsayer saw Lod's lust for fire and warned them, the whole world will burn. The king, war-hungry, and having grown tired of Yulis's descent, sent secret word to his assassins. Make Yulius one with that fire. And so they set upon him with fire, but Yulius was unharmed, for he secretly wore the fire badge of Alia. It was as she said, take away their fire, and the whole world may yet be saved. But men have many tools of death, and in the end, she could not save Yulius from his betrayer. So, we're going up here, gonna go over there. I guess this is gonna be a, a multi-part series, because I was planning to just do one video on this, but it seems like there's actual story in it. So. Hey, man. I got that for you. Where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. To tell the truth. Forget it. I don't care. I've discovered who stole the Hand of Storms. It was Sir Tiavis. Tiavis? One of the Knights of the Rounded Table. He was headed toward the Wind Tower. Just one quick caution. What's that? The rumor is he's somehow become immortal. Huh? What does that mean? I think it could be a tough fight. 
but immortal or not, find him and get back the Hand of Storms. Sir T have stole the hand and head off towards the wind tower. Find him within the world Uh, should I... Should I try and combine some stuff? Let's... Let me see if I can combine some stuff in this. Go to the guild. I have an essence. Can I re... Redo the, uh... Which we call it? The, the reforging? So I can see the sword now. Cancel. So let me save that before I screw this up. We'll save here on slot five. The forge. Okay. Knight's main. Let's try this out. Ooh. We need two. We have one S. Or we have two essences, but you need one per. Bandana. Fairy wings. 20 speed. Luck. Accuracy. Luck. HP. AP. AP cost of skills. That's a good one. Ice badge. When I swear one of to all negative effects. You need to fit physical damage, double damage from magic. Oh, that's bad. Uh So it's talismans. It's like Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. So what is what am I wearing on my peeps right now? Gear, you. Force shield, 20, 60 defense, AP by 50, attack by 15, 20 speed and 20 luck. I want my mans to be super strong, but maybe I should give it to her. Well, before we do that and screw up, we might find some better ones later. So let's first, because they have the talisman shop over here. Let me take a look at what these talismans are all about. It was you, right? The trinkets? Life force. Luke's lockets. Yeah. Uh, HP and regenerates HP. That's good. Attack. Less attack, more magic. Magic defense and defense. Attack speed. Wow. Okay. So stuff is expensive. That's really good. I like that. That would make sure that I don't need to be healed for a while. Five hundred uh uh fifty thousand. I have two hundred and forty five thousand gold. I don't know if I want to spend that just yet. Well, before I do that, before I forge anything, we're gonna head to the wind tower, see if we can get that hand back. So that's a bunch of story. So we'll do that next time in Shadows of Adam, Guild of the Artificers! I was just about to do one video, just highlighting some of the features, and they gave me a bunch of story and lore. I have to continue! We're gonna continue on with the journey, so I'll see you all next time.